one, we're going to evaluate the integral over 0 to the square root of pi of x cosine of x squared dx. We're going to use the substitution rule for definite integrals. All right, and we proceed as usual. We're going to let uh, u equal this quantity here. So derivative of u with respect to x equals 2x, or you can uh, cross multiply and say du equals 2x dx. All right. Uh, we need to solve for x. I left off the x there, so I put in there x dx. So x dx equals 1 half du. I just divided everything by 2. So we have that part. Now with the definite integral, we have to change the limits of integration because we're not going to substitute this back in um, because it's uh, we can just evaluate it from what we have. So I have to change this. This is uh, the limits for x. So we have to change it for the limits for u because we're changing everything in terms of u. So if x equals 0, so from here, if I put an x in there, u is still going to be 0. If x is square root of pi, so you plug in pi, square root of uh, pi squared, you're just going to get u equals pi. So now I can change my uh, integral from 0 to pi, and then I have cosine of u and x dx equals 1 half du. All right, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and evaluate. I'm going to pull out this 1 half. Um, the antiderivative of cosine is sine. So you have sine of u, and we're evaluating from 0 to pi. So from there, we're just going to plug, substitute in. We have 1 half, and you always start with this one first, sine of pi minus sine of 0. So this is going to give you 1 half, sine of pi is 0, and sine of 0 is 0. So we end up all that work, and we all we get is 0. That's your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.